Hey everybody, it's Ron from Ron's Computer Videos. Uh, I was talking with Ryan from Everything is Broken Garage and he brought up kind of a blast from the past, which was a video that I had made for Marchintosh in 2021 about uh, Eric Helgeson's guide uh, for building the ultimate System 7.1. And I thought, yeah, I remember that. And then I was like, you know, I did that video and then I like never uploaded it anywhere. So it was like, what was the point? It was just talking about it. And I guess you could go out and do it yourself. But it seems like these days, sometimes it's a little tougher to just say, oh, well, just go out and download all these things and somehow move it over to your Mac and, and all that. And, I, and Blue Scuzzy and stuff like that does make things easier. But if you're if you're kind of starting out or you just want to like turnkey and try something out, just it seems like it's a, a real service to the community to just build that stuff and put it out there. So that's what I did. I took uh, a little bit of time this evening. I went through and I built out um, Eric Helgeson's Ultimate System 7.1. And I have it running over here on my my beautiful, ooh, look at that, my beautiful LC2. So I will show you, uh, this is basically just an install of uh, System 7.1. Um, it has a pretty small footprint. Like this is not going to run on your two megabyte PowerBook 100. It's it's not going to happen. Uh, but if you've got a machine that's got four megs of RAM or eight megs of RAM or six megs of RAM, yeah, it'd probably be okay. Um, so basically, what it is, uh, if you haven't watched the original video, and I, it's been a long time, so I don't blame you. There there are a number of utilities that Eric kind of recommended because the idea is there's a lot of machines that can accommodate the footprint of System 7.5. Uh, so if you want some of the 7.5 features, but you want uh, to make sure that you can actually run it on a lower end machine like an LC2 with like maybe more RAM constraints, this will get you there. This will get you a lot of that same functionality. And so I'll have in the description uh, of this video what each of the files are and where you can download them on Macintosh Garden. I'll also have a link to Eric's original blog post, which is a good read. Uh, you should definitely go and check that out. Uh, and then, uh, I, but I wanted to say that I've made a couple of additions uh, compared to uh, kind of the original thing that I set up. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a couple of files out there on the Garden. One of which will be a uh, a disk image that is System 7.1 with all of these things pre-installed, plus a directory that's like a tools directory that has all the stuff. Uh, so you can look at each individual thing, read readmes, look at the info and stuff like that. And there's not a lot of guessing about what's really there. Um, so that is all out there. That will be an image. There will also be an image that is just strictly the tools. Um, and when I say image, I mean like a, like an HDA file for your blue SCSI. Um, and you can just mount those as disk images on there, change, you know, name them appropriately, whatever. And then there will also, for people that are like, I've already got everything set up. I just need like a, a stuff at archive with all the tools collected together. Uh, I've made one of those too. So it might be a little redundant. Uh, because you can just go out on the garden and download all these things, but there's some very specific versions that you might want to download that have better compatibility than others. I've taken the guesswork out. I've done all the hard work. It's all like in these little things. So you can just like try them out. So uh, the additions that I made over Eric's original guide is I did go ahead and I put the blue SCSI toolbox out here. So that way that um, folks that, that have one of those and want the added functionality of the stuff that the blue SCSI does, that's all there now in the image. Um, I also put a copy of stuff at expander five, five. So that way that if you um, uh, want to decompress some things, you can do that as well. And I also put a copy of disk tools uh, six, three, three. So that way there are a couple of these things that are like disk images that you might want to mount the image and do a reinstall. I don't know. You're going to play around with it. You'll have fun. But in any case, it's got a lot of stuff, like nice stuff. It's got a clock in the menu bar, and it's got more like System 8 style icons, and like there's a, a appearance manager and stuff. Anyway, you'll play around with it, and you'll have fun. That is it for this evening, though. That's it. Uh, that's my whole video. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, thank you to everybody for spending a few minutes uh, of your evening here with me. And as I always say, Apple II forever.